one. Uh, a team that, that most LSU fans would say need no introduction is the Stony Brook Seawolves and uh, their head coach, Matt Sink, who pulled off one of the great upsets in college baseball history back in 2012 uh, when they went down to LSU, won that Super Regional, won the last two games of that Super Regional, and moved on to the College World Series. Uh, coach Maneri's already said that's ancient history, and, uh, and we're very pleased to welcome Matt Sink and uh, the head coach of Stony Brook. And uh, Coach, let's start there because – LSU fans, everyone in Louisiana burned in their memory Stony Brook coming in and winning the Super Regional. But, I mean, isn't that just the coaches and the media and the fans that remember this now? I mean, none of your kids have any idea that this happened, right? No, it's uh, – it's uh, well, first, thanks for having me. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And uh, But, uh, you know, it's funny you say that because, um, you know, with uh, some of the interviews that have been going on up here with our players, uh, yeah, those guys were in like seventh and eighth grade, and yeah. uh, uh, you know, so uh, although they, um, you know, they did uh, witness it on TV and and whatnot, uh, it's uh, you know, it is it is a seven year stretch, and they were in a very different place, and uh, and you know, they they uh, in the recruiting process, you know, knew of our past, but. Uh, it uh you know it isn't something that uh we we bring up on a on a daily basis um you know each team is a team onto itself and and they have their own identity and um so it is uh it, it is something i think that the fans and and coaches probably um think about more than uh than the present players coach i'm curious because uh, you know we we don't obviously in the deep south we have a different sort of feel to athletics than I think you get in, in many of the other places around the country. And, and having been at Stony Brook as long as you have now, nearly 30 years, I, I'm curious, do your players, you know, in, in Louisiana, most of the kids that play baseball in Louisiana grow up wanting to be an LSU Tiger. They want to go down there and, and play in Baton Rouge. Do you find that you get lifers like that? Or, I mean, what, what do you feel like the kids that you typically get what do they grow up with in terms of athletics and, and kind of where they want to go in their future? Yeah, no, I think, uh, I think that's accurate. Um, you know, uh, I think when you talk about um, the Northeast or, or especially, uh, you know, some of the bigger cities, uh, including the cities in the Northeast, you know, we're, we're pro towns. Uh, you know, we have, we have not one, but two, uh, major league teams in every sport and some sports we have three. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, they grow up, uh, if they're a baseball player wanting to be a Yankee or wanting to be a Met, um, uh, more than, um, you know, they're wanting to play for, um, the, their university or their, or their flagship, uh, university. Um, like you see, as you said, uh, perhaps in the deep South, uh, but on occasion, uh, we, we will, uh, um, you know, get a player who um, who has followed us, and uh, you know, more times than not, they're a local kid, a Long Island kid, and uh, and our shortstop Nick Grande is probably the best example of that. Um, you know, I knew his dad when his dad was a high school coach, is now a high school principal, and I knew um, you know Nick Jr., our shortstop, for some time, and uh, you know, this was a place that um, that through my relationship with the father and him being local, it was, it was the right fit. And this is a place you really wanted to come to. So it happens on occasion, but certainly not, um, the, uh, the amount that I'm sure, um, you know, kids growing up in Louisiana wanting to be a tiger. Well, you mentioned, and, and I think that's a, that's a really interesting take because it's not something we think about a lot. There aren't really pro baseball teams around here. You know, you got the Astros, you got the Rangers, but they're, you know, they're at least three, four hours away from just about anyone in Louisiana. And that's interesting that kids in that area are more pro oriented, where kids in this area seem to be more college oriented. Yeah, that would be my take on it. Absolutely. Yeah, that's. I think that's very interesting. All right, tell me about about this this year's squad. Um, you know, obviously seven years ago is seven years ago. Who cares at this point? You've got this year's squad trying to come in and, and win a regional in Baton Rouge. So when, when folks see Stony Brook take the field, what kind of a ball club are they going to be looking at? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a very different team, uh, than, uh, the last time they, uh, set eyes on us. Um, you know, we've got a talented group. Um, but, uh, you know, you, you, you get to Omaha when you have, um, 
you know, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a lot of talent, and we had with that team. Um, but um, you know, we. Uh, but the one thing I think that you'll see in this team that is similar than, and then the two, uh, 2012 team, and and I'd like to think is kind of who we're about, and that's the intangibles. Um, they're, uh, you know, they're a very resilient group. And, um, they're, you know, they play with confidence and, um, you know, and I think they bring some both mental and physical toughness to, um, to the game. And, um, and I think the biggest thing about them is, um, that they, uh, you know, that they are a brotherhood. They, they truly play the game because they love it individually, but, um, they're great teammates. They play for each other and they support each other. And I think, the best indication of that was, um, you know, this past week we played in our tournament and we came back in all three games to win the conference championship. So um, I think the intangibles are there, maybe not as much talent, um, but uh, um, resilient and, and uh, hardworking and, and uh, hopefully they'll play with a lot of confidence. They're going to need it when you get, you know, when you get down to play in the, in the box. Talking to Matt Sink, the head coach of the uh, Stony Brook Seawolves and uh, coach, Maybe more so than any other sport, confidence is such a big deal in baseball because, you know, any coach will tell you baseball is a game of failure. You're going to fail 70% of the time, and that's considered a pretty good year. Um, I'm curious how you've seen, you mentioned this team coming from behind. Does it feel like this is a team that has that sort of confidence that we're just going to find a way to win a game no matter what it takes? Yeah, again, um, baseball season's a long season with its ups and downs, and you're spot on about uh, it being a game of failure and how you need confidence. So, you know, throughout the year, we've we've had some tough losses, and uh, but we played very, very well, and uh, and you know, gotten some big wins, and and uh, and maybe just come up short against uh, uh, some other clubs. But uh, but overall, um, I think that uh, you know they. Uh, they feel confident in themselves and, and uh, you know, I think that uh, what we stress in trying to keep it simple to be successful, um, you know, I think they, uh, they, they understand that if they uh, can throw strikes, hopefully in the bottom uh, part of the strike zone, make all the routine plays and get some timely hitting, um, you know, uh, that's the way this game is and, and you could um, find yourself uh, getting a big win and, and hopefully getting on a little bit of a roll. Coach, we see a lot of, of northern teams, northeast teams that travel south early in the season, you know, the Februaries and early Marches to, to try to get some games. And, as, as, you know, I'm a guy that's, that grew up in Louisiana. I, I haven't really you – know, I've traveled, but I've never really experienced winter in the north. Tell me about, about kind of the unique challenges of you know, a team in New York, greater New York, and trying to sort of get your team ready – went for an outdoor sport when the well when the elements aren't necessarily playing playing nicely with you yeah it's uh there are some really unpleasant afternoons whether it's uh trying to get um ready for the season in practices or um you know even in uh when we try to start playing up our way in march uh we had a weekend series snowed out um the first weekend in march um but uh, you know, facilities are huge, and uh, and our university, um, you know, really tries to um, provide the best facilities as possible. We have a indoor practice facility, not specifically for baseball, but for all our sports, um, is being constructed as we speak. Uh, what has helped us a lot, um, I think, helps schools in the in the Northeast that have this. Uh, we have field turf, so although we may have to layer up. Uh, with cold weather and, and, you know, be real cautious about how much we throw, you know, we can get out on the field turf and, and, um, you know, that allows us to get some reps in. So um, you got to be creative. Uh, you got to be tough minded. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's sort of what we experience uh, in trying to get ready for our season. Well, and I guess the good news is Baton Rouge is a place that you're somewhat familiar with, obviously from seven years ago, but your kids are somewhat familiar with. You played an SEC foe at Arkansas, who is you know one of the top ones. You, the first two games were very tight. Uh, and you played southeastern Louisiana in Hammond, which is about 30 miles east of Baton Rouge. So 
if nothing else, maybe your guys got have some feel of what this is going to be like traveling to Louisiana and also facing an SEC type foe. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's a great point. Um, you know, this is uh, important for us uh, each year to play as um, as tough a non conference schedule as possible. Um, so to be able to play Arkansas and actually the year before we played Florida. Um, you know, in uh, preparation for our season, I, I think that will um, help us. Who knows how much, but I think that will help us. Um, and uh, and not just because of, uh, you know, what happened seven years ago, um, but we every year try to go down to Louisiana and play. Um, you know, again, in February, the weather is, is uh, you know, you're, you're probably going to be in good weather. And, um, and, uh, and then uh, just, the, the people love the game and uh you know they're knowledgeable of the game and it's great to play in the fans of of some of the southeastern uh, uh louisiana's fans are great we played at lafayette we played at mcneese we played at nichols um you know so uh, we love going to louisiana and uh and and there's a lot of great things about it and and uh so i'm excited for our guys this team be able to go and experience, um, you know, really the 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 number one place uh, in perhaps all of college baseball, yeah. and that's uh, to play LSU. Well, and they always feed you well when you go to South Louisiana. That's the other thing; they're <laughs> not going to miss out on any food. <laughs> that, that, that's exactly right. That uh, yeah, I don't know how I missed that, but you're you're exactly right. <laughs> no, that is that. Look, uh, Coach, I'm a I'm a big man. I'm I look like an offensive lineman, so trust me. <laughs> I, I, I want to make sure food, that's the number one thing that, that I want to have happen. Uh, one piece of advice for you, Coach, not that you're going to need it because you have played a Super Regional in Baton Rouge, uh, but don't do like Maris did. I, I call games from Northwestern State out of the Southland Conference. We played in the 05 Regional in Baton Rouge, and Marist brought wool uniforms. I know you know better, but just just one piece of advice, don't bring wool uniforms with you to Baton Rouge. Yeah, well, I appreciate that uh, bit of advice, and uh, you know, uh, you know, again, going down there uh, this time of year, um, seven years ago, uh, we have a we have a pretty good feel for uh, what it's going to be like weather-wise, and uh, and uh, will is will is definitely not being uh, packed away. <laughs> no, no doubt about it, Coach. Best of luck this weekend. Uh, certainly hope to see you do well. And, uh, look, I don't, I don't have any affiliation with LSU, so if y'all want to go win the regional, go get you some. I'm not going to be mad at you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. It's always good to have uh, uh, as many fans as possible. All so right. thank you very much, and thanks for having me. You got it. Matt Sink, the head coach of the, uh, the Seawolves of Stony Brook, joining us. Fantastic stuff. And uh, they will take on LSU in the late game on Friday at 6 o'clock.